hi everybody uh just sitting in the car park at B&Q. Scott's gone in and I'm about to go and meet him buying a few things for the house because we're waiting for the phone call from the developers so that we can go and collect our keys. Um, it's about, I think, two o'clock. So we've been waiting, obviously, all day for the keys. I imagine they'll probably call us at the very last minute, um, which is annoying, but it'll be exciting to finally get the keys after such a long time. We've just been doing some running around today to get organized so we went and I bought a whole heap of cleaning stuff um, toilet paper and soap and things just some basics for the house so we are getting the keys today but we are not moving in today we're going to be moving in at the end of January because we're getting some work done to the house once we get the keys um, so after Christmas we'll be having someone in to do electrical and they're putting down lights in through the whole house and some extra power points and things. And then we're having our um, kitchen redone um, because we want to do some remodeling and I'll talk about that um, probably later. And then we're also having our flooring put down. So we're getting um, timber flooring throughout though. It's the luxury vinyl candine rather than actual wood. So um, that's going down the 22nd of January and then once that's done we'll be able to move in so yeah I'm gonna head into B&Q and hopefully we'll be getting a phone call from the developers soon so that we can go to the house we've got um, some stuff already in the car we're not moving yet but these are things that need to be um, actually like it's got all our down lights and things like that so just stuff we can leave at the house anyway talk to you soon bye before we move anything in and before 
things change. So let's get started. Okay, so this is the entryway. Uh, there's the front door. I'm not going to show you outside because it's dark now. Uh, but you walk in and this is obviously the stairs to go up. And this is our entry, which is a really nice size. So I'm hoping to put a mirror just there and a hall stand here. And eventually we're hoping to put in a built-in refrigerated wine cellar under the stairs, which would be really cool. And then you come in here and this is our dining room with the beautiful bay window. So very nice. And then you've got our kitchen as it is currently. I love this big window out to the backyard and our beautiful silestone. It's a bit hard to see in this light, but it's a marble sort of effect with a white vein through it. It's um, called silestone Yukon. So this is the kitchen currently and you can see we've got like grey shaker cabinets and this gas cooktop, stainless steel splashback and then over here we've got the double oven. This is the fridge and freezer and this is actually why we're up changing our kitchen. So this is how big the fridge is or how small should I say. So there was obviously no option to change this or to not have it. So we are removing all of this section. We're removing that, the ovens. We are putting in a big French door oven, uh, sorry, fridge here. And then we are removing that and these drawers and we are putting in a freestanding gas cooker here. And we're gonna also add an above fridge cabinet there and an appliance garage to hide the microwave there. So that's the changes that we're making so that we actually have a decent sized fridge. And whilst doing all that, we're going to take all the cabinets off and replace them with navy blue. So they'll be more like this color. Um, that's what's happening which is pretty crazy I suppose with a brand new build. This is a lovely kitchen, but the fridge is absolutely not practical for us. So it had to happen. Um, then you come in here and this is probably gonna be my favorite room of the house. Um, it is the utility, which obviously has the washing machine and the dryer will go here, but we're actually going to also use this as a butler's pantry. So I think a lot of these cupboards, again, these are being replaced with the Navy and we're putting them, gonna make them bigger because they're currently quite small. So we're gonna go up higher towards the ceiling um, to make the most of the space. And then these will be like for storage for the kitchen and also food. So we've got a sink in here, which is very good for a pantry, butler's pantry, prep pantry. Um, this will just have laundry stuff in it. So that is the, it's called a utility in the UK. I call it a butler's pantry. So that's the door to the backyard and you can't see anything just yet because it's dark so I'll show you that tomorrow. Then we go out of this area back to the entryway which is quite nice and they all close. There's a door to every part of the um, house off the entry which is really nice. And then you come in here which sorry that's my phone. Um, this is meant to be a study but it's pretty small. Um, so I'm standing in the far corner now and there's a window there, the door. So it's pr a pretty small room, but we're having studies upstairs. So we're turning this into um, what the British people call a snug. Uh, it's like a little sitting room and we're gonna put some arm wind back leather armchairs in here and our bar cart. And we're just gonna sit in here of an evening and have a drink and then in here is the downstairs bathroom, more toilet, toilet, sink, not a lot going on. So that's that. There's a little cupboard here, which has the fuse box in it. Um, we're probably gonna just turn that into storage. 
so I'm just walking around with my champagne glass, you know. Yeah, so it's a bit hard to see because it's dark, but a decent sized cupboard that we could put shelving in or something for storage. Okay, then this is the living room, which is a pretty decent size. I'm actually happy. I was worried it was going to be too small, but I think it's going to be plenty big enough. So we've got the French doors out to the yard, which is nice. And then our TV will go there. Then we've got this wall here is where we'll have our three seater. And then we were just saying perhaps we would put an armchair for Scott there and then um, some more furniture here. This is actually the TV point, which is hideously large and we asked them to remove it or move it and they wouldn't. So that's gonna have to go because we're putting the TV on this wall. But that's the end, uh, sorry, the living room. Um, and it's really lovely and it's got the two windows. So that's gonna be nice. Now let's go upstairs. So that's the front door again. And this is the staircase. So this will all be timber flooring eventually. We're, first of all, we're just gonna get carpet because of the um, movement of the house. Uh, and I'm thinking of putting like a pendant of some sort up there. Uh, I'm happy that the banister goes all the way up rather than some houses I've seen, it attaches to the wall and it might have only just been this bit as an actual runged banister. But when we come upstairs, I'll go in here first, this will be Scott's study. So this is the smallest bedroom and this looks out onto the street. We went to the display home and the, they had a bed coming from there and it was like that wide to be able to walk past. So we thought it would be a bit rude to put guests in here. Um, so Scott's gonna turn this into his study and the ha it does have this cupboard and it's short because that's the roof of the staircase. So it's pretty deep though. So there's quite a lot of storage possibilities in there, but I think he wants to turn that into a server cupboard. So that's Scott's study. So we walk down this hallway to my craft room and office. So this is enormous. These are two big windows that look out onto the street. And this is, I, I think it's like five point something meters by three point something meters. So there's a cupboard over there, which again is awesome to have built in cupboards. And then I'm thinking perhaps to put a dressing table over here. And then I'm going to have wraparound desks for my craft and office all the way around here. And then in the center, I'll have my wooden dining table, which is actually my desk. So I'll put that as a freestanding island in the middle. Um, so it should be good. There'll be lots of amazing natural light. Um, and here is the master bathroom, which is really lovely. I'm so happy with the tile choice that we went with and that we paid to upgrade to have them the whole way around at half height because, put that down, if we hadn't, we would have just had a couple here and then in the shower and around the bath. So, and I'm not even sure if it would have gone that high, but we've chosen to have it all the way and it just looks way nicer. So we'll have to put a mirror in because they don't provide mirrors. We've got our sliding shower screen. And then there's the shower. Um, and we've got the bath, which is decent size. Plenty of space to put a wine glass on the edge, which is what I always need to know about. So that's master bathroom. And that's the heated towel rail. 
And then the last of the rooms apart from ours is the guest room. So this will be our guest room, which is nice size, just a basic room. So that's guest room. Then we've got, this is the hot water system in there. So that, I guess we'll put a shelf up there for storage of towels and things. And then this is our bedroom. So these are all built-ins, which is awesome. They have this um, shelf and then the rail the whole way down. So that would be good storage. And obviously I would have liked an actual walk-in robe. The one I had in Sydney was amazing, but it's not as common here. Um, this is obviously where the bed will go, and that's our ensuite. So, again, we upgraded for the tiles. So you can see they go all the way around, and it just looks so nice. And we also upgraded to have the chrome shower rails, which otherwise they would have been white, which just looks a bit tacky. In my opinion. So that's our shower. Again, we've got the sliding oh, toilet and sink. Now we're not keeping these sinks. First, one of the first jobs we're going to do in the new year is rip out these pedestal sinks because they have zero storage and they're not practical. And we're putting in one with drawers from IKEA, the Hemnes, which is a grey um, cabinet with a ceramic top so we'll put that in and we're putting the matching mirrors in both these bathrooms so that would be much better and that is that's it I really, we're gonna add mirrors here just because it will make it seem wider and really nice but yeah we're that's that's the whole house so we'll go back downstairs so that is the tour of the house, uh, as is today on completion day. So as I said, we are going to be doing a lot of changes in the next month before we actually physically move in. So our kitchen is going to be pretty different and I'll be able to show the progress of that. We're having down lights put in throughout the whole house so it'll be much brighter and nicer. And we're having our flooring laid, which will throughout the whole house be um, a, it's called Spanish Cherry by Candy, and I'll show you that as it goes down. And um, that's pretty much it. So once all those jobs are done, we will be moving in hopefully on the last week or last weekend of January, and then we'll de hopefully definitely be in the first week of February. So over the next um, month, we'll be coming and going and slowly moving things in, but until the flooring's down, we can't move furniture. So stay tuned, I will keep you guys updated. And um, thank you for watching. If you would give it a thumbs up, that would be super helpful. And yeah, feel free to subscribe if you'd like to see the rest of the progress of us moving into our new home. Um, let me know what your favorite feature of our new house is. And I'll catch you next time, bye.